Sul Sul, Fina, Fredache, The Sims. And when last we left off, Samuel here has gained two promotions and is well on his way to getting a third. This is in part because he's been learning a fair amount of skills, and also he's been going to work most of the time in a very good mood. But we're not going to be focusing on Samuel this time, it's time for Dave once more, and the aftermath of his rip-roaring party, where they watched cartoons and ate pizza. And unfortunately, there is quite a lot of mess that he needs to clean up, starting with deleting that because that's not going to go away otherwise. I know you're tired, but you need to get rid of all of this rubbish first, Yuck. Dave. He needs to get one family friend and two body points to gain the uh, chance of being promoted right now. Without those uh, things filled up, there is no chance of him uh, getting a promotion whatsoever. You also need to get rid of this here, and that, and that as well, and also that. It's going to take a fair amount of time, unfortunately, and your house really isn't well designed for getting rid of things that appear by the mailbox, because it is quite a walk away from the front door to where you can get rid of everything. Unless we were to put, say, a massive trash compactor right over here, and we're not going to be doing that right now. We also want to make sure that we get enough sleep soon enough. We have quite a few uh, potential friendships here, mainly with Claire Charming here, who has 18 in the uh, short term and 8 in the long term. We're going to have to work on improving that if we're going to get that friend we need to get promoted. But then again, maybe Dave doesn't want to get promoted. Maybe he's fine with working from 10 till 3. Right now we have a fair bit of time before we are going to be going to work, so we're going to uh, deal with everything first and then get a little bit of shut-eye. There is one problem with that bin, however. It really doesn't have that much capacity whatsoever. Case in point, we're going to put one uh, newspaper in there, and then we're going to clean up this pile of rubbish, and then that one and that one. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fit that much more in here. At all. In fact, yep, it's nearly full. I think one more um, pile of rubbish will do the trick. I do remember Yuck. that two piles of garbage will fill it up. I didn't know if the newspaper would also count as the same amount. But yep, it is now full. We're going to have to get rid of this and also get rid of Yuck. that as well. The energy stat, meanwhile, is slowly diminishing. It does get to a certain point, and then uh, you really need to focus on resting. If that uh, run... Also, the bin is over here, Dave. It's over here. There we go. You've found it eventually. Well done. You only found it all those other times, and you didn't have to walk all the way over here Ooh. to do it. I know you're very tired, but we have things that we need to do, like clean up that and empty out the trash. If the energy bar runs out completely, your character will fall asleep wherever he is, regardless of what he's doing. If the bladder bar runs all the way down, he'll just wet himself, and then uh, the bladder bar will fill up, but hygiene will plummet to absolute zero. It's over here, by the way. I've no idea why you keep going over there. If only we could move the bin to over there. Then you probably walk down here, and then over there. One more thing you need to do, and that is to empty out the garbage, and then we'll have a nap. Quite a well-needed nap, I think. There we go. We actually want to go and do something when we wake up, and of course have eaten and uh, had a little bit of a sit and a bit of fun and used the toilet and had a shower. We want to go and make a friend. But not a uh, person. We're not going to be talking to Claire or any of the uh, goths that we've met. We're going to be going and getting a uh, more permanent addition to our household. Also, you're going to be sleeping for quite a while, and it's your job soon. You need to get up right now. This is the downside of having a very bad bed. Also, he's going to take ages to get up, because he unfortunately, uh, he unfortunately is not the most active person. We're gonna have to... I know you're complaining, but you need to get to work really, really soon. Also, we need to make sure that you uh, have a shower as well. We might not even have time for you to uh, do that. Nope, you have one hour before you go and uh, you're going to have to have a quick dinner. A very quick dinner. Maybe we'll have the time. Who can say? You're just going to go straight over there and hopefully not burn everything down. This could go horribly wrong here. 
Dave is taking a huge risk with his uh, attempt to eat some food. Fortunately, it didn't go horribly wrong. And that looks really, really unappetizing, and he has nothing at all to uh, eat it with, or rather, um, sit down and eat uh, at, so he has to eat standing up with his hands. That's not good whatsoever, and it hmm. wasn't really that filling either. Do we have time to... No, actually, I don't think we have time to go... Actually, maybe we do have time to go to the toilet first. If you're very quick, you might be able to squeeze that in. I know it's time to go to work, but he just needs to go first, and then he'll go to work. There we go. He may be running towards the car. Is he running? Soon, soon. Nope, he's walking. He thinks he's got more than enough time. If we went to go and have a shower, we most certainly... I know, I know, he's coming. Give him some time, he'll get there. He really does smell, however, right now. That hygiene stat is really low, and his social stat is also going down quite a bit. A lot faster than um, Samuel, because he has a far... Ah, welcome home. You earned 110 simoleons. That is the advantage of his job. It really doesn't take him that long to... Uh, definitely doesn't take him that long to uh, be there. He's there from uh, 10 till 3. Also, whenever you... There you go. I was just about to say, whenever you decide to actually go and do something, Dave... As I was saying before, we need to go and find him a more permanent addition to the household. Yes, indeed, we're going to... Why am I having you do that when you really need to go and do this? I have no idea. We need to go and get you a pet. I think a dog might be a suitable addition. The pets are very good for uh, filling the social need and just generally having someone around all the time, even when you're living by yourself. You can do other things, like enter them into competitions, and with dogs, I think you can teach them how to uh, do tricks, but generally, I think Dave needs a friend. And why not have a four-legged friend? We're going to need to go somewhere to do that, however, and I think we'll then need to order a pizza, because after all, he's not going to risk cooking again. That would go terribly wrong. We're going to call a cab, and we're going to explore the old town at four in the morning. Because if memory serves, none of the places that you can go to shut regardless of how late it is. It's very handy like that. Also, you didn't press any buttons there at all. How do you know where to ring? <laughs> Maybe it's on speed dial. Thank you for calling Old Town Shuttle. Would you like us to send a courtesy shuttle to pick you up? That must be very expensive. You could actually just walk to where you're going, by the way. You literally could just walk there. You'll see in just a moment, but we'll go outside and wait for the shuttle to come and pick us up. Uh, outside is that way, Dave. There we go. Outside is that way. There it is! Visiting Old Town will save the house in its current condition and prevent you from returning until your visit is over. Are you sure you want to leave the house? Indeed, we do. There is one exception and to uh, that situation, and that is, uh, well, one minor part of it, is that you can't save while you're in the old town, or when you're in downtown, either. You can save, however, when you're in the, um... Are we going anywhere? There we go. It took a little while there. Sometimes it does linger a little while longer than it should. Also, this music is quite catchy, but um, when you're on holiday, you can save while you're on holiday. Although you can't go to your house because uh, nobody is uh, there right now. We're going to be looking for a place where we can get a pet. And that is only here at Pet Paradise. Bring the whole family to Old Town's fully featured pet adoption centre, where you can find that special new family member, hire the local pet trainer, and fulfil your pet's every need. There is a slot here, by the way, where you could make your own community lot, but I'd rather use the ones they have. And as you noted, it's literally just down the road from where Dave lives. I mean, you really didn't need to uh, call any kind of transport, you could have just walked. But then again, Dave is very lazy. We're going to be going, I do believe, over here, where you can buy a dog. It says, pick me here. Aw, we're going to be inevitably picking someone. And we can't talk to uh, store clerk Michael. We could talk to the pet trainer, but we're just going to go and buy a pet at five in the morning. Yes, indeed. What a place to be this neighborhood is. At any hour, you can go and buy a pet. We could play with a dog, or we could adopt a dog for 399 simoleons. 
Let's go and adopt a dog, shall we? After Brad here has finished uh, playing with the dog. That dog looks very friendly. Also, I said I wanted to adopt a dog, Dave, not sit down on a couch that pretty much looks exactly the same as the one that you already have. Hello there, dog. No, no. Why are you doing that? Go and adopt a dog. The dog is over there. Whenever you want to adopt one, feel free. Ah, hello. Why is Tiffany greeting us? I have... Is it because everybody is going over to, uh, pet the dog, and therefore Dave is being, like, denied access to being able to pick a dog? There we go. Hello. I really don't want to talk to you right now. I want to go and adopt a dog. Whenever you're ready. You seem intent on talking to that dog, don't you? Would you like to move, Tiffany? I do not want to talk to you. I wish to adopt a pet. This is not going super well. But I've got all the time in the world. Actually, no, I don't. Uh, his energy bar is not doing that well. I want to say goodbye to you, but unfortunately you're... Hello! Do we now have an opportunity to do this? Yes, we do! Ha ha! Hmm. And Dave ponders the dog. I think the clerk should... Yep, clerk's coming over. Hello, how are you? Would you like your new pet to be a male or a female? Let's pick a male, shall we? Please select your pet. We have this dog here, this dog here, this dog here, this dog here, that one, and that one. There's a lot of dogs you can pick. What's that one? Let's have that one turn around. Maybe. I haven't decided which one. We could have that dog. Or this dog, I think it's um, cycled round now. You know what? We'll have this dog here. You look perfect. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? I am indeed sure. Excellent. We shall now buy this pet for 399 simoleons. After a long delay where we couldn't... Hello, how are you? We're not going to have a conversation with you because uh, we didn't get on before. Money changes hands, and now we get to name our pet. And there is only one name that we can give to a dog. Dog. Now, after a little bit of a pause, we now have Dog the Dog. Hello, how are you? Are you well? You are indeed. Dog has his own needs here. Hunger, comfort, hygiene, bladder, energy, fun, social, and room. Now that it's the middle of the morning, it's time for us to go. And we're going to do that by uh, heading over here. Actually, we really want to... Uh... Ah, we've selected the dog, that's why. I was about to say, the dog... Why, we can't ring to go home! But no, the dog cannot use the telephone. And I do believe dog is fine heading over there right now, but we want to head home and buy some things that dog will need to uh, live a happy life here with Dave. Namely, we need somewhere for him to sleep, and somewhere to wash him, and somewhere to feed him. And apparently, something bad has happened. I've no idea what, but it doesn't seem to bother Dave that much. Alright. We could just walk, you know, Dave. We could walk. But no, he wants to ring and take a lift. Fair enough. They always pick up, by the way. Always. Yep, he wants to take a lift. I can imagine the guy on the other side being like, You want a lift to where? Uh, are you sure? I mean, we are obligated to provide this service, but uh, you could just walk. But no, we are now going to be going. And not surprisingly, uh, Dog is not going to be uh, coming with us to work. I don't think uh, the place where Dave works would appreciate that. Where is Dog? Ah, there we go. Let's get in and head back home. And I do think Dog will rush over to where we are. Hello, Dog. I've no idea how you knew to come over this way. But I'm sure you and Dave are going to get along just fine. Just fine indeed. There we go. And back home they go. And we're going to need to buy some things for Dog, but they won't be too expensive. Also, this thing is heading the wrong way. It really should be going that way, but uh, I suppose it's going to go this way and then turn around. And off we go this... Something's apparently happened, but I've no idea what. And so after a delay when everybody decided to uh, focus on... Uh, oh, there appears to be a puddle of something there. Hmm. You go clean that up while uh, 
we think about what we need to buy, because after all that time of trying to adopt a pet and the game just not letting us, we now finally have Dog here. And Dog can have things from the miscellaneous section, and specifically the pet section here. We want to get Dog somewhere to sleep, like this critter condo. This classic design has comfortably sheltered household pets for literally- has housed, rather. Uh, comfortably sheltered household pets for literally decades. Its reinforced framing and ample insulation are so inviting, you might want to move in yourself and let the pets have the queen bed. Uh, no, it's not really that good. We'll have this over here, excellent. And we'll also have the, uh, we can have a pet, uh, placator here. Just trying to read that there. Pet placator. Pets don't understand money, so why spend a fortune on them? The pet placator will comfortably store your pet's food and water for those precious moments between when you fill it and they eat it. It doesn't do much else because it doesn't need to. It's durable, uh, polypro... pylome. Well, that's a long word. Molded design means it will probably outlast you, your pet, and likely civilization as we know it. You know what? I'm a little uh, cautious about having a um, bowl that's made out of something that will outlast all of civilization. But then again, I imagine loads of bowls will outlast civilization. So, actually, we want this indoors. We really want that indoors because if we don't have that indoors, what will inevitably happen is that uh, it will um, it'll end up being used by all the other animals that are in the um, in the neighborhood when they come round. So we want it right there. We do, however, want one more thing, and that is this uh, squeaky clean pet tub. Love your pet, but not its smell? Now you can wash a dirty pet whenever it is convenient for you! Indoor-outdoor tub can be used just about anywhere. The squeaky clean pet tub is made of heavy-duty plastic with built-in gallon indicators. It will keep your pets clean without chemicals or toxic radiation often found in other pet baths. Really? It's a good thing we're picking this brand, then. Makes uh, bathing pets a convenience instead of a chore. It's always sort of a chore, though. We'll put that out here because it really uh, doesn't matter either way where we put that. Also, it's convenient to keep it here. What we want to do right now is... Uh, also, it's a bit difficult to uh, select that there, so we might want to move this down here a bit. There we go. And fill the bowl. And we'll let Dog get uh, acquainted with uh, his new surroundings, his new home. Hello, Dog. Dog has decided to relieve himself. Outside, in fact. On his house. Hmm, we could actually... We should actually praise him for that, because he's relieved himself outside rather than uh, inside. That is important. You need to make sure that you're uh, training your pets to uh, do things correctly, as in not to go right to this uh, area by the television and then just uh, urinate everywhere. Well done, dog. Although, pick a better location than outside your house. Well done. Now I need to clean this up. Dog is very happy about this. Also, dog is currently our friend. Doesn't count for um, needing a friend for this job, but hey, it's good enough, eh? Also, we have cockroaches. It would seem like this happens periodically. So we're going to have to clean that up, and oh my, is it not going so well for Dave right now. Those hours that we lost trying to get the uh, trying to get Dog here certainly haven't done us any favours. We are going to uh, fill up this bowl as well after this, so we can uh, then head to bed without any problems. All right, dog. You don't do anything bad while we're off in bed. Also, the comfort stat has taken a nosedive. We are not in a good mood whatsoever. Also, what are you doing? You're drinking from the toilet bowl. Uh, okay, we can't really we can't really stop you from doing that or scolding you. Also, he really is not comfortable right now. I'm sure you and Dog will get along just fine. I have no idea what you're doing right now, Dog. You don't really have so much control over what Dog does. Dog sort of... Ah. Dog is just deciding to follow Dave, because Dave has put food down. It costs 15 simoleons, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And yeah, comfort has taken a nosedive, energy is not doing very well, but hey, time to rest now, Dave. I'm sure Dog will be just fine. You have some food, and there you go. Excellent. And now we get to see all the stuff that Dog does, which mostly involves running around and wetting himself in, or rather relieving himself, in the bedroom. 
not fantastic. Fortunately, he'll get very sleepy soon, and then he's thinking about his food bowl, and then we'll wake up bright and early at about two in the afternoon. About to say the morning, this is not the morning. And look, Dog has left a surprise for you. Yeah, you're really not enjoying getting up, are you, Dave? Nope, you are not. You've got to get up eventually. There you go. And now, just clean that up, and then when we come back, folks, we need to make sure that uh, Dave has a good meal. I know how to solve that. Where's the phone? Let's call for a pizza. Excellent. And once that pizza's on the way, when we come back, we'll try and sort out all the things that he needs to fill up, which is most things right now, and then we'll go to work. Bright and cheery. Hopefully. The pizza definitely is on speed dial. If the Even if the shuttle isn't, that is. Yep, he wants pizza. And indeed, it will be 40 simoleons. Marvelous! Dinner is sorted. And when we come back, folks, everything else will be sorted too. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Dag dag. Rest well, dog, for you do not know that you have the greatest master ever. Dave is brilliant with animals. And I'm saying that not actually knowing if he is, but I imagine he will be. You'll be just fine, dog. You'll be fine. Dave might not be, but you'll be fine. Dag dag. <laughs>